tungsten inert gas welding or TIG welding. The background of TIG welding is also referred to as GTAW, that is gas shielded tungsten welding. In TIG welding, a tungsten electrode heats the metal you are welding, and gas, most typically argon, protects the weld from airborne contaminants. TIG welding uses a non consumable tungsten electrode. The filler material, when required, is added by hand. Shielding gas protects the weld and tungsten electrode. The tungsten gas tungsten arc welding, that is GTAW, is a process that melts and joins metals by heating them with an arc established between non consumable or uncoated tungsten electrode and the metals. The belt pool temperature can approach 2500 degrees centigrade. <coughs> the, uh, the tungsten electrode is used to make the arc. It is contacted with a water cooled copper tube to prevent overheating. The shielding gas goes through the torch body and nozzle towards the weld pool to protect it from air. The filler material for joining thicker metals materials is put manually or automatically. This is the filler road and this is the shielding gas and the power source this is contact 2. The techniques for basic weld joints. Arc length normally one electrode diameter when AC welding with a boiled end electrode is used. When DC welding with a pointed electrode, arc length may be much less than electrode diameter. This electrode and work with blended or uh, boiled electrode. Arc starting with high frequency. The torch position on left shows recommended method of starting the arc with high frequency when a to torch is held manually. By resting gas cup on base metal, there is little danger of to touching the electrode to the work. After arc is initiated, torch can be raised to proper welding angle. Manual torch movement. Torch and filler rod must be moved progressively and smoothly so the weld pool, the hot filler rod ends, and the solidifying weld are not exposed to air that will contaminate the weld metal area or heat affected zone. When an arc is turned off, force flow of shielding gas should shield the weld pool, electrode and hot end of the filler rod. Advantages Welds more metals and metal alloys, metal alloys than any other process. High quality and precision. Aesthetic weld beads. No sparks or spatter. No flux or slag. No smoke or fumes. Lower filler metal deposition rates. Good hand eye coordination. A required skill, brighter ultraviolet rays than other processes, slower travel speeds than other processes, equipment cost tends to be higher than other processes. The most used big shielding gases, the argon, helium, argon helium mixtures. The differences between the uh, advantages of argon and helium. The good arc starting, good cleaning action, good arc stability, focus the arc on lower arc voltages 10 to 30 CFH flow rates. Helium rates, helium the advantages, faster travel speeds, increased penetration, difficult start arc starting, less cleaning action. Less low amp ambient st stability, higher arc voltages, higher flow rates, higher cost than argon.
organ helium mixtures improved travel speeds over pure organ improved penetration over pure organ cleaning properties closer to pure organ improved arc starting over pure helium improved arc stability over pure helium arc con shape more focused than pure helium arc voltage is between pure organ and pure helium higher flow rates than pure organ cause high the higher than pure organ tig welding is an exciting skill that proves itself useful in countless applications because it welds more metal and metal alloys than any other process tig welding should be regarded as an important tool where experience is the teacher welding parameters and tungsten electrode selection tables are recommended values and should be used as guidelines information presented here is only the tip of the iceberg and further research and hands on involvement should be pursued to be comprehensive the other welding process that is metal inert gas welding that is mig welding gas metal arc welding is a process where coalescence of workpiece is produced by the heating it with electric arc established between a continuously fed metal electrode and the workpiece no flux is used here arc and molten metal are shielded by an inert gas argon helium carbon dioxide and mixture of gases the arc length is normally 1.5 to 4 mm is controlled by constant current method the advantages and disadvantages of metal inert gas welding is very clean due to inert shielding gas is used much higher deposition rate faster due to continuous feeding of the electrode can weld thicker and thicker weld sections at higher weld speeds deeper penetration produce a smooth neat clean weld as no flexors are used can use dual touch and twin wire processes to further increase the deposition rate the disadvantage is the <coughs> the gun is quite bulky and difficult to reach small areas or corners okay this much is the